servant of God need to be disciplined. God's servants suppose they fail with their Bible interpretation. They must they call speed speed and make sure say then talk the truth from the altar, whether they company it or not. God's servants must tell the truth so that people feel no waiting God required from them. God warned prophet Ezekiel for the danger looming over him and in people. If he refused to speak God's mind, as in supposed speaker, God warned Ezekiel and in say, Man picking, I don't make watchman go before you for Israel's house. For this reason, hear word from my mouth, I make you give them warning for me. When I say to the wicked, you go surely die, and you no go give them warning, and no speak to warn the wicked from a wicked way to save in life. That same wicked man will die in iniquity. For I go ask for him blood from your hand. Yet if you want the wicked, and he no turn from wickedness, and from his wicked ways, he go die for his own iniquity. But you go deliver your own soul again when one righteous man turns from righteousness and commits iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he go die, because you don't give him warning. He go die for his sin and in righteousness where he don't do. Could they remember? For I go ask in blood for your hand. Nevertheless, if you want the righteous man, they make the righteous man no sin, and he no sin, he go surely live because he took warning. Also, you don't deliver your own soul. Ezekiel 3, verse 17 to 21. Let's say, God's servants be in treasure instruments, and he expect nothing much but discipline from them. God owed his servants with high esteem. They must appropriately speak to a mind and make sure say they save guy people from pitfall. God's servants don't get right to serve God at any wish we they want. But then they mandated to meet God's standard every time. Or not belong to a servant, we doing your own job well. But God punishment looms over a servant, we fail in master. Since the creator they count on a servant to represent them well well. Make them no hesitate. To honorably carry out their diligence. By so doing, every rod of punishment will be averted, and huge positive reward will be attained by God's servants and their people. Congratulations to those servants who faithfully serve God, for their reward will they obtain on earth and forever. Prayer, dear God, I beg, make me the true and thorough servant. We will faithfully serve you. Make me the consistent. With your word and make me serve you oh heartedly. Give me strength to speak the truth every time, whether I get convenient or not. Make my talk and what they do glorify you. So that other people keep them motivated to serve you also. I beg anoint me with fresh ointment to serve you faithfully to the end. And also I pray for all your ministers waiting all over the world. I beg give them strength to serve you with faith. Make your ministers lead by example. So that your name will be glorified among other people. When in God Jesus Christ's name I make my request. Amen.